So one of the helpful things in PowerPoint that can save us some time when we're creating an e-learning course is a tool called the Format Painter. And this is especially helpful if you're using lots of different effects on your objects or your images. Like on this slide right here, I've got these menu options on the right edge of the slide that I've created with PowerPoint Shapes. And they all started out the same. They all looked like this, you know, these blue rectangles that you see right here. But I was doing some experimenting with the top one, and I changed the look of it quite a bit with some effects. I changed the font, added a little bit of a glow effect around the edge, I added some shadowing to the text. So lots of little changes. And now if I decided that I liked this look and I wanted to make the rest of these menu options match that first one, I could obviously just you know select these three rectangles here and then go through and make all those same individual changes like I did on the first one. But that takes a little bit of time and sometimes if you've done a lot of tweaking and experimenting to get the right look on that first object, it can be kind of hard to remember all the specific changes that you've applied. So a quicker way is to just pick up all the formatting that I've applied to that first object and carry it over to the other ones. And the way that we do that is by using the Format Painter. So with that object selected, I'm going to come up here to the Home tab, and then I'm going to click on this little paintbrush icon right here. And I'm using PowerPoint 2007, by the way. If you're using PowerPoint 2003, the Format Painter is on the standard toolbar. You can see once I click on that, my cursor changes, right, to show that my Format Painter is active. I've got this little paintbrush that's following my arrow around. And now um, I can just click on any object where I want to apply that same formatting as the first one. And once I do that, all the formatting gets carried over immediately and it just takes that one click. And if I've got several objects that I want to format, like I do on this slide, what I can do is select the object that has the formatting I want, and then instead of clicking just once on the Format Painter, I'm going to double click on it, and now I can click on as many objects as I want. And the Format Painter stays active until I come back here and click the paintbrush again, or until I hit my Escape key. And this little trick works for images too, so let me switch to this slide. Here's another example. I've got this image here in front where I've applied this, you know, kind of extreme, you know, black and white effect um, using the format menu and then I chose the recolor drop down and then this black and white option right here. And I've also applied kind of an extreme shadow here um, that I tweaked a little bit to make it offset and a little darker than what I would usually get with the default shadow effect. So again, lots of little formatting changes that would take time to reapply if I wanted to do the same thing to each of these people back here in the background. So what I can do is select the guy in front, come up to the Home tab and double click on my Format Painter. Then I just need to click on each of these images back here and all that formatting immediately gets applied. So if you're working with um, a lot of the formatting effects in PowerPoint, this is just a real nice way to leverage some of those fun features but cut down on a lot of the work involved in applying them.